Hey guys, welcome to the Drop Karina Guide for RGB Matrix. This involves slashing your board, so I'm not liable if anything goes wrong. So let's start with the QMK setup. So use and follow the QMK setup documentation to set up your environment. I use WSL and the installation instructions are here in the Microsoft website. So once installed, go to the QMK setup and follow the instructions for WSL. Right here. So the way I would run this line is through VS Code. So let me open that up. So you want to download the extension called remote-wsl, which enables this button to allow you to connect to WSL through VS Code. So that's indicated with this icon here. So what you want to do is open a new terminal and run your line here. So next you want to clone the master forked QMK firmware. Afterwards, download the MD loader, which is the flashing tool. Go to this release link and download the files for your environment. So here it says Windows users and it's telling you to download these two files. Now open the clone directory with VS Code. So go to keyboards, go to mesh drop, all the way down here. Go to Karina, go to key maps, and then create a folder with any name of your choice. I'll call mine toot. Now copy the files from default MD over. Now open the rules.mk file and comment this out. Save. And now let's go to keymap.c and notice all the key bindings, all the key codes, and all the key functions down here. So this will be replaced by another keyboard settings. Now let's go to the drop all configuration that we need. So go to mass drop, alt, key maps, abyss Holm, and open the keymap.c file. So copy the key codes and functions. The key bindings will have to be copied over one by one since the layout doesn't match. Now that the settings are copied over, let's compile. So let's go to the root of the Karina directory and open this readme. So this explains how to compile, so copy this line right here. So make sure you're in the root directory, QMK firmware and replace this default MD with the folder name that you chose for the beginning. So mine is toots. Run that and it should compile. There you go. And now it created the spin file in your root directory. Now copy the bin file into the same folder as the MD loader files. Now use this command to initiate the flash. I created the script so I can run the MD loader easier. So this is how I run it. Press tab to select your file. Tut. So it's going to initiate the flash and I have to press the reset button. There you go, you have all your default RGB matrix effects. So to create user-defined key maps, let's look at a key map I've already made. So let's open rules.mk. So I added the line RGB matrix custom user equals yes. The compiler will now look for the RGB matrix user.inc file right here, which will contain all your custom FX. So in this file, I copied it's a simple effect, this one right here that says my cool effect, which is which was located in the QMK documentation. This says for all LEDs right here, from LED men to LED max, make it yellow. So basically static yellow. So the next effect is more complex. It's the purple border plus white reactive LEDs that was displayed in my previous sound test. So to create this, I refer to the examples in quantum. So quantum is in the root directory. Quantum, RGB, matrix, animations, and you can see all the default animations here. So I'll basically refer to the solid reactive uh, simple animation here. So you can actually go through the code and see how this was coded. And you can go back and tweak it a little bit. So let's go back to my custom file here. 
So the first section deals with the bottom LEDs. So it's saying that the LEDs from 61 to 87, which is the bottom LEDs, set the color to purple. Next, we want to deal with the top LEDs. So this function says, uh, let's just go to the uh, function here. So I created the function in the RGB matrix user.h. And this is same at the top LEDs, get the last key that was hit, and then use the effect on that last key. So it's going to run that function that was passed into here. So the function is custom reactive. So let's go to custom reactive here. And it's saying, I don't re really know what this does, but this is what gives the blinking effect when you hit the key. So saturation is zero to make it white. And the value offset is 60. So I wanted the top row to be glowing at least a little bit. And all it does is make the key brighter. So if you want it to not glow a little bit, you can just remove this value offset and remove this all together. Similar to how this is put it right here. So now with our effects defined and our effects registered up here, let's say we want to load the effect on startup. So you go back to the key map and then you go down to the initiation function, matrix init user, you do RGB matrix mode, and then we put the name here prepended with RGB matrix custom. So this is required in order to initiate from startup. So let's go ahead and compile this bad boy. So let's rename that to RGB underscore matrix that compile. All right, so now let's uh, open our command prompt to folders. So we need to drag that bin file over, replace it, and then initiate the flash with our RGB matrix. Yeah, this one right here. Now let's reset the keyboard. Okay, it's restarting, and now we have purple and white reactive. Coming up soon. There we go. And it's all reactive. Wahoo. All right. So that's it for the guide. Hopefully you guys can understand the code better than me. So you can create some nice effects. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Peace. Peace.